I'm in my shop this morning and somebody dropped this off. It's, uh, they said it didn't work. I'm going to see if I can fix it. Follow along to the end to see if this actually can run again. First thing I'm going to do is plug it in just to make sure if it... Uh, Let's check it out. Uh-oh, there's definitely something wrong. Let's dig into it. Looking at it, I see four torque screws here for this. I don't know for sure how the top comes off. I see torque screws on the handle. And I'm going to assume that there's some kind of screws under this cover. So let's see if we can't get this cover peeled off of there. I found a right size torque screw for these four right here. Let's see if we can't get that off. I have this loose. It's loose, but this right here is holding it from coming off. So now I've got to figure out how I'm going to get this off. This turns. It's spring loaded. Uh, I'm not sure how to get that off, but I'm going to do some checking and let's see if I can't get that off of there. I couldn't figure out how to get this loose yet, so I just peeled this rubber up so I could get to these four screws that's holding this whole works together. I wonder, though, there's four screws on top of here. I wonder if I just loosen those four and take this top off. That's what I'm going to do first. Well, I ended up taking these two screws out here and then these four here. I had to peel this up a little further and then just by prying on this a little bit, that slips right out of there somehow. I guess like that. That's what we end up with. And that's what we end up with. I can see that right here, this is broken. And I'm guessing that that wedged in there. Yep, that's exactly what happened. It caused this to, uh, to jam up and without that piece in there, this is, is pretty much junk unless that part is readily available. Let's clean this up just a little bit, get some of this grease out of here and let me take a little closer look at it. When this came off, that part right there fell out somewhere here on my table or on the floor. I'm not sure where yet. Oh, and by the way, taking this off was a necessity. Otherwise, I couldn't pull this up far enough. But let me get it situated here. I'll get all this grease cleaned out and we'll take a closer look at what we have to work with. I plugged this in just to see if the motor was still good and to my surprise, look at this. So this is good. It's got a little knocking. I'm not sure what that is, but it might be because I have the head tore apart. Here's what we have. I did find this piece. It was actually lodged down in there. And to me, it looks like that's the only thing on here that's broken. It would fit right in there. It's a roller that goes in there. And then that roller is oscillating and it moves this back and forth. So when this would get to here, in that oscillation, in whichever direction it's going, pushing out most likely, it's going to bind up and quit. So without this intact, this saw is not really any good. 
So I'm going to get on the interweb and see if this part's available. Well, I did a little checking on this saw and come to find out it's a Harbor Freight tool. Non-members, it's just under $100. Members, it's just under $70. I couldn't find anywhere where you could actually buy replacement parts, and I'm assuming that that's the case because anybody in their right mind wouldn't spend a lot of money replacing a saw part that they could buy a new one for that price. So I'm going to contact the owner of this saw and see what he wants to do with it. Uh, if he could find a part, I'm happy to put it in for him. But right now, uh, for what I looked, I couldn't find it. It's all kind of new saws. They're not that expensive. Now if someone would have one that's burned up in this end and good at this end, Take just a minute to replace that and throw this back together and you got a good saw. But for right now, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I'm left here with this broken Hercules Harbor Freight Sawzall. And it's not worth searching or looking into it any longer. It can be fixed. It's not by me right now. Uh, if you've worked on projects like this, let me know about them. I'm interested. Just drop me a line in a comment. If you like what I bring you on my channel, I'd encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If you like videos like this, I would encourage you to watch this one right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Sometimes it just isn't in the books though. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.